this video. How do you make friends in middle school when you're socially awkward? This is so fun. fun. I know. You don't be friends with furries. <laughs> no! If you're friends with a furry, oh. shout out to you. Every class creates a totally different interview. Like, let's all just like stare at her, like make her really uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Like locker rooms. Big family Literally like. no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> How do A and B classes work? Is it a good time like a planner? You know what the bubble pizza? Pineapple. Cheese. I don't care. Oh. I don't care. Cheese! Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I actually knew the god. <laughs> I'm like late to him somehow. <laughs> Raise your hand if you dated in middle school. <laughs> How do you drop toxic friends? How do you deal with people being mean to you? Talk about your bad. Major yeah. one in middle school. They're gonna try and be leaders and tell you what to do and watch around. But like, peace out. Bye. Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have some guests with me. My name is Allison. My name is Grace. My name is Ashlyn. My name is Carissa. And my name is Ellery. And you guys already know me. <laughs> so in today's video, we are going to be giving you our middle advice school. for middle school. Oh, oh, wait, I messed up. No, middle school middle school I messed up. Okay, okay, y'all, y'all. No, like middle school advice. Middle, 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 middle school advice. So in today's video, we're going to be giving you our middle school advice. And we're also going to be doing s'mores as we do it. The first topic we're going to cover is friends. <laughs> Ellery's on fire. <laughs> Everyone comment that Ellery's on fire with the fire emoji. <laughs> so how this works is we're going to be answering your questions from the community post that I did about a month ago. It was with the picture of Grace. And Grace is actually going to start off the questions. Oh. So the first question was, how do you make friends in middle school when you're socially awkward and how to keep conversations going and have awkward silence during college? Like honestly, when you're making friends, I just like pick people that you have common interests with. Yeah. So like the most important part about that is like getting into clubs and doing different like activities and stuff within school so that whenever you start a conversation with people, you have things like that you have in common that you guys can talk about. Did you rehearse this? <laughs> actually forming sentences like, exactly on the spot. <laughs> just like, I don't know that's just like the easiest way I think <laughs> yeah find like common interests where you guys can talk about that and then the more you talk to people the less awkward it's gonna become yeah. it's yeah, always just gonna sure. be the first part like the first time you're talking to people it's always gonna be a little bit awkward but yeah. that would probably just be like like one good thing about that is because since y'all like in the same thing together, y'all get to do more stuff outside of school together. So like I was in course with Ellery, I'd be spending like weekends or like half my days after school with Ellery because like we're in the same class together. Right. So like you yeah. bond with different people on like totally different levels. As long yeah. as you're like involved in something, you'll make more friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like get involved. I'm gonna grab some spores now so we can get the spores going. This is so fun. I know. Yeah, I feel like in middle school, it's kind of like you kind of find your way. Yeah, not being awkward is kind of finding your people. Cause like when you find people that you like and like that you click with, mm -hmm. you won't really have to be awkward. Don't be friends and furries. <laughs> oh, oh, that's going in the intro. <laughs> that's like okay. number one rule. If you're friends with the furry, oh, okay. shout out to you. Okay. Don't do that. No, it's very important. Okay, I have this question. It's from Angie underscore underscore. Underscore. <laughs> 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 How do you make friends in middle school since you switch like class periods every day? So I think with that, you get to meet a whole bunch of different people. Like I didn't go to elementary school with literally three of these girls over here and I have to be friends with all of them. I met people from anywhere you could possibly think. And I think it's because it's not like you have to stay with one group. You kind of get That's to like so true. meet with different yeah. people and like do different things. So it's kind of nice to switch class periods because every class period is a totally different interview. Like for me, I was in sports and I'm with my friends who love basketball and talking about games that we... <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you have like multiple classes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my, that's my sister, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. She's reversing the cup. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be me, guys. The fact that I'm just hit the reverse. You know. Let's, I'll just like stare at her, like make her really uncomfortable. But like, don't smile. <laughs> she smiles. It's hard not to smile. Make your face like, why are you here? <laughs> okay, okay, you can see this on your camera. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Say hi to the vlog. You can't just take chocolate and not say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Try your 
best to make friends that you have multiple classes with? Like Allison and Ellery in eighth grade, I had like six out of eight classes with them and we grew like so close. Oh my okay. gosh. It's like, holy <laughs> bro. Ew. Another question is, how do you try to keep a bond with your friends if they change a lot? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Is it good? Change a lot. Like change different friend groups or like go like to the mm. popular group or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I would say yeah. try to hang out with them after school, like outside of school. Don't think of it as like your friends leaving you and never want to talk to you again. Kind of think of it as like, oh, like your friends gonna have more friends and then you have more friends by eighth grade. You're all gonna just be one big group since y'all been with each other for three years. Right. So yeah. it's good like to flow out and make new friends and then come back together. That was good. <laughs> Wait, that kind of covered everything. That was really good. Like if they change in a bad way, I would kind of like. Just like I wouldn't yeah. ever end a friendship or like be rude because yeah, I mean, no. it's just like because everybody's yeah. gonna change in exactly. School. Like people change and like I feel like friendships are definitely gonna change from like when you were in like sixth grade to eighth grade. Mm -hmm. so, like I wouldn't like it's not that serious. Like yeah. we didn't know each other until like seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> school change is obviously gonna happen between everybody like literally in sixth grade i was loud i was in the drama i was living it up guys yeah. no bad grades wasn't this as the years going on like me i'm a loud personality i'm always wanting to hang out party and i've met like quiet people i hang out with people who don't really like to go anywhere i hang out with people who are furries oh, 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 i hang out with a whole bunch of people wait who's who's the furry <laughs> so you kind of get to hang out with a whole bunch of different people what? and like what? a different kind and you yeah. people like that yeah. <laughs> you know, guys. You know, in middle school, you get to be better. Don't be friends with bullies. <laughs> yeah, Ashley. Don't be friends with bullies or furries. Watch, for example, Carissa, Grace, and I, we all had theater together in seventh grade. A way that we changed is we all kind of like switched up our electives. Carissa and I did culinary, and Grace was an ELA aide. But the way we maintained our friendship was hanging outside of school or maybe hanging out in the classes that we did have together, like ELA or something, which we didn't have together. <laughs> <laughs> it's eighth grade, the year that you find out who your true friends are and are really staying? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a that's really answer. good question. It's not. Your friends will change <laughs> throughout high school. <laughs> like, I feel like I'll still maintain a good relationship with like all of you guys. Mm -hmm. but I like I feel like everybody will branch out and like find yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So completely agree. Yeah. Senior year or even college is like where you find your true friends. Yeah, yeah. that's so I agree with that. Because you think about it as like high school, we've heard that it's totally different. Like yeah. and I said this in the other middle school advice video, but branch out from your friends, you don't necessarily have to have any beef with them. Sometimes yeah. you just like grow apart naturally. Yeah. 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 And sure. yeah, and just like if you really want to keep your friends, then just hang out with them outside of school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll like prioritize the relationships that like yeah. really matter because yes. if you're drifting away from someone and you both aren't really making time for each other, I feel like that relationship isn't yeah. yeah. really as strong. If you think about it, like even though we're at the end of middle school, we're still so young. And we're definitely <laughs> we're so immature. Young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're gonna change so much in high school, so I feel like friendships are. We're gonna so wash this back. Oh, yeah. Making a good friend group that would influence you in a good way. Yes. yes. Yeah. Literally so true. Good job, Allison. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Ready, guys? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's honestly like all she really needs to do. Yeah. And then we can add it on that. Wow. <laughs> That was a big bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard the cut. I know. You yeah. drop. Oh, you drop. Oh, oh another oh big bite over here. That was a big bite for Saturday night. Well, so here are our top tips under the topic of friendship. Branch out. Don't let bad people influence you. Get involved. Hang out with people after school. Make friends with people in your classes. And stay true to yourself. <laughs> Okay. okay guys, that's a wrap. <laughs> the next topic we're going to give you guys our advice about is classes. We <laughs> <laughs> got a little Chris. Oh my, I just got chocolate hair you bun. <laughs> it's okay if she wants extra chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> like how we felt about like locker rooms yeah. like, i don't know what the change was from sixth grade but we hit athletics and it was just like you're one big family like, literally no one cares yeah. at all like you could literally be, we were like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like it sounded like you're such an ash <laughs> people but, are gonna be commenting y'all are just <laughs> <all the time. laughs> like it just gets to the point like you do it so much later on in your life you're obviously gonna have to change in front of people so then therefore you're just like oh like okay now i'm not, I'm not saying that you just get different people like that y'all get what i'm saying like yeah. it helps you prepare for life wait <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. what are you, you're weird. You're all girls. Like yeah. it doesn't matter. Like nobody's looking at you. Like they're just trying to. Change. Someone 
asked how do A and B classes work. So at our school, Wednesday and Thursday is our block days. And on Wednesdays, we have odd days, which are 1st, 3rd, 5th, 5th, and 7th. Yeah. And Thursdays, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Each class is about an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. The next one is how to be more productive at home when you get home from school. And I feel like this is like a really good question. The transition from elementary school to middle school and like sixth grade, like eighth grade, it's like really different because the workload definitely gets like a lot higher. Yeah. And it's definitely hard to adjust to. My biggest tip, honestly, and like what I wish I did was whenever you get home, set a time for where you can do like homework and like any yeah. class work, like studying. It can be right when you get home. That might be the easiest because then you'll get like extra time at night to do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Some girls like call into it. Oh, was it good to have like a planner? And I would say like, yeah, like my biggest regret is not having a planner. Just because like my whole like schedule is really like scattered around. And so having like a planner and like a designated time to like go home, take a shower, sleep, do whatever you want, have free time, is like important. It's around 8 p.m. and we're gonna go make some pizzas for dinner while we continue the video. Let's go. So we're now in the kitchen and we're gonna make homemade pizzas from scratch. I'm gonna take away the oil now and then it's time for pizza sauce. Yeah, and then it gets to the point where 
like like y'all be together like that's the y'all think y'all a cute couple y'all break up it's so awkward because your ex-boyfriend is kind of friends with everybody you're around Yo. and then you're so y'all never being, leave each other you're stuck being around them. exactly and that's for three years of your life i could be best friends with somebody and then my ex-boyfriend can be friends with them too and then it's awkward because we're gonna all the three of us gonna be together so it's just like it's not really a smart decision unless you know that like y'all think you're gonna last a long time okay, cool. or it won't be awkward but y'all don't nobody yeah. Yeah. exactly nobody is gonna yeah. actually last and I feel like a lot of people like did it because of like peer pressure. Yes. Like so only do it if you like God. actually like, like the person. Don't bro. Like, don't fall for the peer pressure. How many of us fell for peer pressure? You did! You did! options so for different kinds of people <laughs> we, I know we don't probably, do it yeah that's the number yeah. one don't number one it don't do it yeah. number two if you do it do it correctly number three don't lose your friends yeah. <gasps> what Oh, girl. Which can be easy or hard. 
hard. It depends on the person. Yeah. Friend. I, I feel like we all kind of have experience with that. Yeah. Maybe, it might yeah. be like. Let's give some signs of a toxic friend. Talk it behind your back. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Major <laughs> one in middle school. It's like it's a daily thing. Spreading rumors about like. you That's that like, It's like so common in middle school. Like people well, like. like don't let people who like I guess you like are selfish kind of like rule yeah. you. Yeah. Like they're gonna try to be like leaders of the group, like popular, like a clique basically. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna try and be leaders and tell you what to do and boss you around, but like yeah. be your own person. Honestly, be with like be sports yeah. well. Right. And our final topic for this video is sports. Bonding is a great way to like create friendships on your team. Yeah, you have a lot of freedom, but basically like on game days, our coaches would have us like fill up the water jugs. It was actually really fun. We actually got to meet more people because of yeah. athletic team, like meet the seventh graders. Yeah. We, we hope, hope you guys enjoyed enjoy watching today's video and, and listening to our middle school, school advice. advice. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this video might have bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> and we're also going to be doing, ew, that's too proper. Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back up. to some guests with me. <laughs> My name. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do we all? <laughs> now that we all look like screen agents, we can right. stop. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, can't do nothing correct. What's going oh. on? The all right. Beef. Good. Right. The beef is big. But do you just need to make like, like a group back. decision? Are we asking <laughs> questions first? Or are we starting with the top? Okay, that's a good question. So, like, what we're gonna talk about is friends. friends. Okay, oh, yeah. now that's we're ready. Good, good. Okay, okay. Shoot, what did I say? Ellery, <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> like, you're sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got that. You're a clip. You're a clip. That's all I gotta say. Ellery okay, just got caught. She will keep that. Okay, ready, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love what Grace and Carissa said because she uh, uh, Hey guys, no boys, what's up? Bad for you. So this is Ashlyn and Allison's segment, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh Frick! It kind of does work though. Here's a quick OOTD. Croc, yeah. Nike, H&M, and Seattle. Had to do a quick OOTD because I know y'all missed my OOTDs. <laughs> Echo, I love your vlog. Shout out. Echo, I love you. Don't so keep that. Yeah, look, let's, let's, let's all run away for a second. Okay, okay. We're gonna run. Oh, she saw us. She saw us run past her room. <laughs> Oh, what if the camera, other camera saw you peek? <laughs> oh, this is like the mini vlog. Oh, this is like a mini vlog.